This is the Weisberg Channel, and the Catacombs of Paris are an enormous series of tunnels hidden away beneath the city, spanning over 200 miles. The underground cemetery was initially built to house the remains of dead bodies that were overtaking the cemeteries around the city at the time. As the population kept growing and the city expanded, there was very little space to accommodate the growing remains of the deceased citizens. This left us with an unnerving series of tunnels filled with dead bodies arranged in the creepiest way possible. Currently, only a small section of the catacombs is open to the public, and the rest is off limits. Still, this doesn't stop thrill-seeking individuals from entering the winding pathways of the tunnels, only to get lost, never to be seen again. However, there are some that have found a way to make this place their own, as is the case with a particular group of individuals who managed to make their own private theater inside the catacombs. In September 2004, while on a training exercise, the police found a secret, fully equipped cinema in one of the catacombs' restricted areas. The cinema could house around 20 people and was even equipped with a fully stocked bar, dining room, salons, electricity, and even phone lines. What's curious is that the entrance of the cinema was guarded by a sign which warned people to turn back because of a construction site ahead. This of course was not true, and when the authorities moved in to check it out, the sound of barking and growling dogs could be heard from the darkness. Police later found out that it was a recording producing the sounds, likely to ward off unwanted visitors. There was also a camera snapping photos of anyone who entered the space. Three days later, the police returned, accompanied by experts, to see exactly where the electricity was coming from. However, when they entered the room, they found that the phone and electricity lines were cut and a note was left behind in the scene, and it read, Nechar Chepa, or do not search in English. But who exactly was responsible for this elaborate project, and what was the purpose? Well, five years after the discovery of the theater, a man by the name of Lazar Kunzmann released a book called The Clandestine Culture, where he explains his life in a secret society called the UX. Turns out that the underground cinema was built by a subset group of this underground society. The group was called La Mexican de la Perforación, or the Mexican of the Drilling in English. This group of individuals focuses on conducting underground excavations and is just one of the many subset groups that form this secret society. Thought to have over 150 members, La UX have been responsible for many clandestine restoration of all historical sites around Paris that have been neglected by the Parisian government. Their story is very interesting and several books have been released about their exploits in Paris. Links can be found in the description. Thank you for watching and for more content like this, consider subscribing, leaving a like, comment, and remember to stay smart.